I'm going to go over a couple of my favorite draft strategies for 2022. Basically, if you leave your draft and you don't deploy one of these and it's available to you to deploy, we're no longer friends. I cannot look you in the eye anymore. If you see one of these approaches available on the table and you don't activate it, let's get into my favorite 2022 fantasy football draft strategies right now the fantasy football show let's go this is the fantasy football show with your host smitty Take a lap. this is number one this is my number one fantasy football draft strategy for 2022 it's very simple it involves two players and you can add on to it it can be something that's used in conjunction with other thoughts and processes obviously it involves getting jamar chase in round one and getting joseph cigar smoking burrow in round five or six let's put him at the top of six because he's been falling into round seven on occasion people are ranking him lower probably not because of the appendectomy but because Jalen Hurts and, and Lance are climbing. And I love both of those guys, so I'm not ripping on that at all. But I am saying that that opportunity that is now being presented moves him into round seven. The opportunity to get him even later. Because if you go on ESPN, if you're if you're lucky enough to draft on ESPN. In fact, I might draft on ESPN, then move the league over to, to another app after that. Because of the advantage you get in this pre-rank list that guides everybody in the wrong direction. Because they're scared. They're worried Williams. They don't want to... They don't want to take a chance. They don't want to look like a fool. And when the, the pre rank list is like screaming at them, don't take Joe Burrow. He's the eighth ranked quarterback in fantasy football. Take these guys. Take Lamar. Take all these guys ahead of them. People get scared. They don't want to detour away from the pre rank list. The pre rank list is your friend. It will help you win a league because everybody's so scared to go against it. What if I don't know what I'm talking about? How many worried Williams or oblivious Oscars or, or upset Ungers come into their draft unprepared? They walk in with their magazine, their latte. They're on the phone with the missus who's telling them to get the milk on the way home. And they have no clue what's going on around 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 80 PYs. They have no clue. They don't know what time it is. They think they do. They've got TPS reports to type up in the morning. They don't have time to research any of this. They're, they're picking up the milk on the way home. The milk. So when they get round 6 and 7, who do they turn to? No, they don't phone a friend. They look at the pre-rank list. What does the pre-rank list say, Bob? Well, it has just... Joe Burrow ranked as a 7th or 8th quarterback, so he must not go in the top 6 or 7 quarterbacks. Joe Burrow can win a league. Joe Burrow is arguably, maybe outside of, of, of Brees Hall, we'll get to that later, the best pick in fantasy football 2022. Wait a minute, Javante is. Okay, it's the second bet. All my draft strategy children. Are, are treated equally. Joe Burrow in round six wins leagues. Javante in round two wins leagues. Brees Hall in round four, that'll win you a league, son. Those are my three favorite players in 2022, given cost of entry and impact of a said cost of entry. Joe Burrow round six, championship. Brees Hall round four, championship. Javante Williams, championship. In round two, th th those three, individually are my best draft strategies joe burrow six javante two Brees hall four those are like my individual one player favorite draft strategies right there but when you get jamar chase and burrow stacked together at round one and round six value what are you doing ultimately let's use last year as an example let's say you wanted mahomes and hill you'd have to take hill in round one mahomes maybe in round two and you could say like you got him in three or whatever, but let's just put him at the bottom of, of two, even though those picks don't correspond and say that this is kind of what the cost of entry was in a Hill Mahomes stack in, in previous years. But what this did for you is if you struggled with a Kansas City Chief game and didn't get the, the output you wanted, you only had your third, your fourth, your fifth, your sixth round picks to carry your team. But when you look at this Burrow Jamar Chase stack, it is a six rounder and a one round pick which means that if for any reason the Bengals struggle, you have your second, your third, your fourth, your fifth round picks to carry you. You're, you're packaging this entire duo with a bunch of elite talent. You'll have a Javante Williams or a, a Tyreek Hill this year to, to cover you and carry you in that round or or my my favorite is Javante Williams himself let's put him right there like if if the Bengals struggle you got Javante you've got Brees Hall or ETN or whoever 
in in both these rounds. You got a McLaurin, you got a a, a DK Metcalf, whatever. You've got literally Javante and, and two or three other soldiers to carry your team. So that's why this stack is so vital to winning your league in 2022. Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow. They're spread out. It gives you so much firepower in between the two picks and it is league winning. Joe Burrow could throw for 44, 45 touchdowns in 2022. Sneak in a couple. Literally a 45 plus TD, total TD guy in 2022. But Smitty, he doesn't run much. Let me repeat it. 44 to 45 touchdowns, he'll probably score in 2022. It wouldn't shock me if he had 48 to 50 total touchdowns in 2022. Smitty, you can't say that. ESPN ranks him as the seventh or eighth quarterback. I can say it. I did say it, and I will continue to say it. Joe Burrow could arguably be the number one overall fantasy football quarterback and number one overall scorer in fantasy in 2022. I'm not saying it's a lock. I'm not saying I rank him higher than Herbert or Josh Allen. I'm saying that he's close enough to those guys that he is a screaming steal in round six versus having to pay a, a third or fourth round value for the other two who I do love a lot, but this is just undescribable, unbelievable value. Burrow, Jamar Chase wins leagues. In fact, if you walk out of your draft with Jamar Chase, Javante Williams in round two, Joe Burrow in round six. I'm not 100% sure on this, so don't quote me on it. I, this is my opinion, but I believe you'd probably be able to walk into the bank and hand them your roster and they probably give you whatever you want in an advance, an IOU, so to speak. You could probably drive down to the league safe office and hand them your roster and go, Jamar Chase, Javante Williams, Joe Burrow. Can I get an advance on my league safe winnings, please? They probably back the truck in. Come take a look at this roster, Bob. Get the man whatever he wants. Javante, Chase, and Burrow. Yeah, get that guy play check. You, you can't do better than this. This is my, okay, I said Chase and Burrow was my number one strategy. You put the tripod together, the Chase, the Javante, and the Joe Burrow. Th this is my new favorite strategy. This is it. This is, this is the blueprint to winning your league. This tripod, this trifecta, this tripod of talent right here. This load dropping tripod. Javante, Burrow, Jamar Chase, unbelievable. Walk out of your league with these three and watch what happens. This is my absolute favorite draft strategy in 2022. The Burrow, Jamar Chase, and then mix in the Javante, but you could you could compartmentalize this into two different you know approaches, the tripod and the duo of Burrow and Chase. And of course, I, I, I've talked about my Swift and, and Javante uh, 12 and 13 back-to-backs, but I'm gonna go into that in another video. This is my favorite draft strategy for 2022 as it stands right now, here and now. Look for video two on my second favorite and third favorite draft strategy for 2022 get my one-on-one -on -one text advice at the fantasyfootballshow.com my bold predictions my rankings get on over to underdog link in the description underdog will match up to 100 on your first deposit if you use promo code smitty or the link in the description go play underdog and take advantage of joe burrow in round six go go to the bank go to the bank head on over to the bank and show me your roster bring print out your roster be like give me give me an advance bro this is like an i this is better than an iou this is better than cash this is this is an iou right here now get out of here this is the fantasy football show with your host smitty